What are you doing here? Was I not expected? Then who? I, I, I sense an unsettling undercurrent. Did, did I commit some sort of faux pas that I was unaware of? We thought that, that you, you were here, in there, with uh, Maxie. Yeah. The picture is becoming alarmingly clear. Since I am undoubtedly here in the living room, then Maximista is in her bedroom having carnal knowledge of who? Yes! Ah, uh, don't stop! Yes! Jack, I not realized that uh, the relationship I enjoy with Maximista is of a most platonic nature still I this is beyond away. outrageous I, you guys know what she's doing right I mean she's trying to prove a point namely that if Johnny and I can have sex on the other side of a thin wall so can she but who she's with I mean who knows it could be some model Federico or some homeless guy she pulled off the street this is this is far too painful for me I'm just gonna go oh no 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 you are not going anywhere Maxie is being bitchy and mean and she's gonna face the consequences come on Some performance. I'll say. Thanks, Johnny. What'd you think? Uh. Wow, Maxie, how insensitive are you? Of your delicate sensibilities, please. I was trying to make a point. It's no fun listening to other people have noisy sex, so you and Johnny better keep it down, and I'll do the same. And what about Spinelli? What? <sighs> wow, if you don't know already, then you're more hopeless than I thought. Our dinner is getting cold. Living with Lulu is gonna be a complete disaster. Did you see that dumb look she gave me? Who, me? Noisy sex? I mean, please. She wasn't even getting where I was coming from. You know, she used to have practically a whole wing to herself at the quarter main house. What a waste. Why, why are you looking at me like that? Uh, uh, the, the jackal could not help but notice the vast difference in Maximista's demeanor from just now compared to how she reacted that memorable occasion when she had biblical knowledge of the jackal. English, please. You do not... You do not take your pleasure so vociferously with me as you did with that wall. Silly. That's because I faked it. Faked it? With me or the wall? The Jackal has long suspected that his glorious night of passion with the... the woman of his dreams was not as equally satisfying for her, both physically and emotionally, but I've been Spinelli, able to Spinelli, what are you babbling about? <sighs> Having sex with you was totally wrong. It was probably the most selfish thing I've ever done in my life. I was needy and you were there and I used you. The one person I care about more than anyone else in the world. The Jackal regrets that Max and Mista found the experience so regrettable. Only because I used you, but the sex, I mean, it's too bad we can't do it again, because it was wonderful. It was? Yeah. I mean, I've never experienced anything like it. You were sweet and sensitive. You made me feel like the most beautiful woman in the world. I'm flattered, but I'm somewhat confused. You weren't nearly as vocal as you feigned just now. Oh, that's nothing to go by. I was just putting on a show for Johnny and Lulu. And I did pretty good, right? I mean, I should be considering all the times I've acted my way to ecstasy, so to speak. You mean you actually have faked it with partners in the past? Oh, sure. Which is another reason we won't be having sex again. I just never want to have to fake it with you. This is wrong. It's all wrong. What? Well, the furniture, the walls, everything. It's not feng shui enough. Does that mean that Max Misa has taken the Jacko's lessons on the art of interior harmony to heart? Well, I tried to read some of that stuff you gave me, but it was way too technical. And who cares about smelly history anyway? I need something that's going to help me now. We ran an article about it in Crimson. That kind of helped. Can we move this? Uh, yeah, so allow me. Okay, come, bring it over this way. Okay. Go slowly, because I don't know where I want it. Okay. Wait, faster than that. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, go. Ah! <laughs>
<laughs> Shh, too many sounds like that and Lulu will think we're messing around just to spite her. Ooh. If that is Maximista's wish, I'm sure I could find it somewhere in myself to accommodate. Smelly, are you asking me to play around a round of mattress tag with you? <laughs> well, I would love to. Oh, think about how nuts that would drive Lulu. <laughs> but even that's not a good enough reason to use you again. Look, I feel like I have to correct a false assumption about being used, as you so frequently say. I... I never felt that way. In fact, I, I was and I am so honored that you, that you chose me in your hour of need. Spinelli, that's exactly the kind of unselfish thing I would expect you to say. Because you care about me. The real me, who I am inside. I'm not just some potential hookup to you. Oh, sorry, not to sound so whiny like Maxie, but this couch is just, it's awful. <laughs> what? What is this? It's a new couch, my contribution to the household. Where did you get this? It's the deposit money that Jack should fund for the apartment. So this is all the money that you have in the world? Yeah, well, there's my car. Oh my gosh, you are so what? cute. You've never had to economize, have you? Not really, no. Oh, well, in the real world, we usually save the cash that we make and we don't blow it on couches. We use it for essentials like food and water. Okay, sounds like a good plan. Now all I need is a job. Oh, well, you can look tomorrow. Yeah, I will for all the good that it'll do. Discouraged already? No, it's realistic. Who's gonna hire a guy with a high school diploma and the same last name as a fruit and old oh, mobster? People will see how smart and capable you are and you'll be just fine. Yeah, you wouldn't be biased, would you? Who, me? Oh, God, you guys, get a room. Oh, we already have one. I wouldn't mind going there, would you? No. We have a deal. Yeah, Johnny and I did not agree to any deal. Do you want this to turn into a full-blown war because I'm oh, ready? Actually, you know what? I just forgot. I have my housewarming gift. Ooh, I like presents that look like this. <laughs> you got us rocks? It's a zen garden. It promotes peace and harmony in your new environs. Perhaps we should put it in the most effective space as soon as possible. Don't forget to call ahead and make sure that the conference call between Giselle and Warren is set up as soon as Kate walks in the door. Okay, thanks. 